This content will be recorded and made available in an accessible alternative format upon request. If you require captioning, transcription, or other communication services to access this content, please contact the Disability Resource Center, the DRC, at drc at snhu.edu or 877-591-4723, select option 4. Hello, welcome to FAS 202. This is the main home page for our course. Uh, if you are new to the school, I wanted to give you some follow through here to kind of lead you in the right direction as to where to go within the course. Uh, from this main home page, uh, notice the picture will change every week, so always keep an eye out for that. Uh, but most importantly, I wanted you to I wanted to point out the announcements uh, that will also change several times during the week. I will always post important information here that has to do with content for the week, um, information regarding grading, uh, information regarding assignments that are due, discussion boards, um, anything that you could really think of cl um, class related will be. Um, information placed in the announcements. Um, I'll also update for webinars and any school important addresses. Um, it's very important to read all of the announcements as they're very important. They're um, pertinent to everything that we're doing so you always want to make sure that you've, you've read through all of the announcements. Um, sometimes it can be a little daunting because there are a lot of them especially here at the beginning of the course because there's so many. Um, but always make sure that you, you read through them. They'll always be available throughout the term. So if you have any questions, you can always refer back to previous announcements. As I said, they're all here, and there's, there's quite a lot of them from the very beginning. But just make sure that you've read through all of them. Uh, from this announcement screen, I want to go ahead and, and kind of lead you in through the course here. Um, like we said, we're already at the announcement screen. This is the home screen, so anytime you log in, this is this will be the first thing that you see. Uh, from this spot, we're going to go ahead and click the Course Information button. From Course Information, you can see a lot of important information as well. Uh, the Course Syllabus, this is good to go ahead and, and download and take a look at and refer back to as it provides a bit of a calendar for you. Mind Edge information, if you're just logging in for the first time and you need to set up your textbook, you're going to go ahead and click in through Mind Edge information. This will deal with our e-text for the course and it's a requirement for the course. Uh, course supplemental materials, this can be used for your final project as the websites for museums are in here as well as writing about the humanities. This is very important information to, to think about and consult as you choose your pieces for the final project. Some other key pieces in here, the assignment guidelines and rubrics, technical information, the student handbook, advising services, smart online, smart thinking online tutoring, and the SNHU Career Center. All of these can be useful to you, um, so feel free to click into those. Uh, the first thing I'm going to click into is the assignment guidelines and rubrics I want to point out for you. The assignment guidelines and rubrics section deals with um, all assignments throughout the course and how they will be graded. So you know up front how everything will be graded from the very beginning and the requirements for that project. We have two milestones and the final project. They all relate to each other. Uh, milestone one the, is due in week three. Milestone two is due in week five. And then the final project is due in week seven of the course. And you could always click the links to see how they'll be graded in the important information. One thing I'm going to click into now to show you is the undergraduate discussion board rubric. The weeks that we do have discussion boards, they'll all be graded the same way, and I wanted to point that out to you. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. From here, it takes you to the actual rubric. And you can read through this, but I want to point out a few things. Your initial post on the discussion board is due by Thursday of the module week by 11.59 p.m., so Thursday evening, you want to make sure that you have a thorough, substantial post made to the discussion board. And then you need at least two response posts due by Sunday of that same module week uh, by 11.59 p.m., so by Sunday night. Um, you always want to make sure that you have thorough information, as it says you want to provide more than I agree or you are wrong. Provide thorough information, research it, um, really add to the discussion. Um, I'll always be present in the discussion boards as well to help ask questions and kind of guide you as, as best I can. Um, anytime we do have a discussion board, it will be graded as such. Um, you're graded on four elements. Comprehension, which deals with 
Um, your initial thoughts and opinions and ideas posted in, in your initial post, the timeliness of your initial post. Remember, your initial post is always due by Thursday, and your response posts are always due by Sunday. The engagement deals with your response posts, obviously, and then the writing and mechanics. Um, one hint I will give you right away is anytime that you're using information from another source or you're cited or you're using images within your post, you always want to make sure that those are cited in MLA format within your discussion board. Um, but as you can see, this is how it'll be graded. So it's we're very transparent. We want you to know exactly how things are going to be graded um, and used um, to look at everything. Um, so we're going to go back here to the assignment guidelines section. Uh, this is where we were, so this is just going back here. From here, I'm going to click into the Learning Modules section. The Learning Modules section is, is a location you will click on every single week. Uh, the introduction is always here, so you just want to make sure that you're always scrolling down. It just gives you a rundown of the entire course and the projects that it will be due. The course outcomes deals with the learning material for the course and your goals throughout. Uh, course work overview, this is a great link because it gives you um, a background of what we'll be doing each week. I highly suggest you print this out and keep it with you at all times so that way you know everything that's due. As you can see, the weeks we have discussion boards, you have quizzes every week, and then you have the final project of Milestone 1, Milestone 2, and then the final submission. Very important, um, definitely an, a good idea to, to print it out and keep it with you. Um, this is the most important part here is it'll list the modules. Um, I will open up all of the modules for you so you can start looking over and reviewing uh, which pieces you'd want to consider for your final project. Um, from here I'm going to go ahead and click module 1 and all of the modules will look similar. It just changes each week depending on what's actually due. Uh, the first thing, the module 1 introduction to the humanities. This will link us directly to the MindEdge software and I will take you there. Uh, the 1-1 discussion getting started, this is our first graded discussion board. The 1-2 quiz, module 1, this is the first of our module quizzes. <clears throat> and then it's encouraging you to start reviewing the information for the final project so you can start brainstorming ideas for the pieces you want to choose. From here I'm going to go ahead and click module 1, introduction to the humanities. And this is going to take us directly to the first module's e-text information. So from here you can see that this is the same picture that I used on the opening announcement screen. They're not always the same, but this week they happen to be. This is a favorite, so I kept it on here. Um, you always want to make sure that you've read and reviewed everything. If you like to have a paper copy, you can always download the material here um, by clicking this link. But I will tell you that it won't provide you everything. It doesn't provide you the interactive material. Uh, that's why we use MindEd, just because of its interact, um, interactive activities within the course. Um, so from here, you can click the Next button, or you can pull this down to see where you left off. Um, but from here, you would click into each one. You want to make sure that you read everything because everything within here is a possibility of being on the quiz. So you would just kind of scroll through, read all of the information, go to the next page, um, usually activities. Look, this is going to tell us some about the, the outcomes. Um, as you scroll through, there's a pretest here. Uh, the pretests aren't graded, it's the final test that's graded. Um, but say you've done all this and you've scrolled all the way to the bottom. As you can see, I was in here playing around and, and doing some different things. So say I left off here, you read through all of the information. It's a great e-text, and I highly encourage you to read absolutely everything about it because nothing is off limits for the quiz. From here, once you've read all of that information, you can go straight to the quiz. You don't have to do these in any sort of order. Just definitely read the material, then take the quiz. But from here, you would click the 1-2 quiz, module 1. You have two opportunities to take the quiz. The computer will record your highest score. Um, so if you don't necessarily like your first score, definitely go back, review the material, and try to take the quiz again. Um, the discussion board, I'm going to click here, and it'll link us right to the discussion board. As you can see, we have general questions and final project Q&A. These two discussion boards are for you guys to post anything that you might have a question about, as long as it's not grade related or personal issues. Um, this, these are general questions for the course um, that maybe other people might be having those same questions. Feel free to post them here. I'll always get back to you within 24 hours. This first button here, this 1-1 discussion getting started, 
Um, as you can see, somebody is already in here. Oh, that's my link here. So you could click on that and read there. Uh, if you're posting your initial, your initial discussion board, always click Create Thread. It will provide you the forum description, so the questions you're going to be answering. Um, and you can type right in the box. Always make sure to provide a subject. Um, I highly suggest you type originally in Microsoft Word and then paste it into Blackboard. Uh, simply because sometimes Blackboard doesn't work and sometimes it's a little touchy. Um, it's usually easier to copy and paste. And then we do have some issues sometimes of, of blank discussion boards. Uh, so just make sure that if you are typing, try to do it in another site and paste it into here. Um, I'd hate to have anybody lose any of their work. Um, but always uh, create a new thread whenever you're posting your initial thread. Um, if you're in here and say you just want to say hi or you're responding to one of your classmates, um, you just go into here and click reply and you'll, you can reply directly to them. Just keep in mind that a reply is not the same as an initial post. So you have to do the create thread for an initial post and reply for a response post. The other um, key pieces I kind of want to point out here to, for you. Um, the My Instructor button just gives you some information about me. Uh, most importantly, it gives you my contact information here. Um, I'm always accessible by email, so feel free to, uh, to shoot me an email. I'll always get back to you within 24 hours without any issues. As you can see, I'm located in Cleveland, Ohio, so I am on Eastern Standard Time. Um, also, the My Grades button, um, you can click into here and see all of the things that you'll be graded for throughout the entire semester, the entire term. Um, as you can see, ev what everything's worth and what you'll be graded on. So anytime that you're in here and you're, you're just checking to see if I've had anything graded, you can check it out here. Please know that there is a seven-day turnaround time for grading for discussion boards and final and, and milestone projects. So if we have a discussion board, your post is due by Sunday at 11.59. I have till the following Sunday to get it graded. My goal is always to have it graded before that, but you never know. Um, so just know that there's a seven-day turnaround time for grading. Um, your, your quiz scores will always populate immediately. Sometimes you do have to give it a couple minutes, but it will populate right away. Um, in the course tools, if you need anything here, you can contact me via contacts. Um, also, the, le the Learning Community Resource Center here, oh, it logged me out, hold on. The FAS 201-202 Learning Community is uh, for students only. Instructors don't participate in here and aren't present in this location. I'm only logging in here just to show you what it looks like. Uh, this is a... Um, a place for students to communicate and, and ask questions entirely um, about what's going on. So feel free to go in here and kind of read through the information. Um, again, this is there's no problem with you going in here and asking anything. They'll share questions, they'll share articles, um, they'll share webinars. Anything that you feel that you need, feel free to go in here and take a look. Um, it's completely up to you. Um, but just know that your announcements are always your home brace. Course information can be found for assignments and guidelines and rubrics. Learning modules is your weekly information, and then discussion boards is, is where you would obviously do your discussion boards. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, reach out through my instructor tab to get my email address or post your question to the discussion board general Q&A. Um, like I said, everything will be responded to within 24 hours. Um, I look forward to meeting all of you, and I will see you in the discussion board. Thank you.